Hi, welcome back. Today we're playing the third episode of the remastered version of Life is Strange. If you haven't seen episode one or two, I'll link a playlist on the screen right now so you can go have a look. And let's go. Also, if you noticed, I'm wearing the same makeup and top as I was in episode two. No, you didn't. I'm bulk recording. I have been playing for like four hours. So yeah, sorry about the lack in variation, but I'll do something extra for episode four. Also, take a guess what I've got in this cup. The fact that Max takes care of the bunny always gets me. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. Does this she look happy end. though? Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Glad the media doesn't waste a second ex- hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school, man. I really t Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next- First I saved Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. I always kill the plant, so this is pretty good. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Hi. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon. And until then, I'll be catering to your... Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Settle. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. <gasps> Hi, Dana. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. 
Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Ah, oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. <laughs> I have to say, her room is very cool. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex <gasps> Club party. Glow in the dark thingy. I'm gonna take a photo of it. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's secret, she's a geek. Well, well, Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Asshole. Oh, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. <laughs> hmm, nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be... Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. Imagine having like almost life-size photos of you on the, on the wall in your bedroom. I, I wish that were me. I wish I had that confidence, honestly. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. So much hypocrite. Yeah. So 
Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. No. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at the lens and say nut. Gotcha. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Oh my god, what do you want, Chloe? Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. I know I have a set of keys on me. Max the ninja strikes again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was so cringy. I'm sorry. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. 
I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I <sighs> had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max. Who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her? I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked oh, my photo, you're though. better than this. Come we would on. have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. That's it. Fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thank you, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? 
I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race hmm. is on. See you soon. You wish. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. I feel like it's so dark. Like it, it wasn't that dark in the original game. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. Like I literally have no idea where I'm going. Never mind, I forgot to set up the gamma properly. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. <laughs> You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. <laughs> Use the damn chair. Only one more ingredient left. Why is it duct tape again? I never said they were great, troll. Where's the duct tape? This is like a scene in a horror film. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. Oh, Kate. Even when you- Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last week. I probably should find those items now. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. The there tape is, is. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. <clears throat> Oh my god. 
harder, go faster. Just so slow. I am ready to kick this door in the balls. <laughs> Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, mm. so what should we do? If only you could rewind time. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Two more files to go. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Look at this pile. Weird. This asshole has a like I'm not gonna read my This file is going to be so spotless, I'll project I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Oh, I guess. Let's nab this last file. Tumbleweeds. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. You're not so tacky up close. Chloe, say hello to my little friend. Say goodnight to the bad guy. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Look everywhere, Max. There has to be some... Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Man, 
I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. I know Max wouldn't do it. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. I never realized that <laughs> she put everything in the bin. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls?
girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Seto. I did want to go check out Warren's locker, but... <clears throat> Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Where does that other sock go? This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. So, the big plan is... win. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> no. I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Why is your mouth not moving? Thank God. But what if I had? What if? Kate didn't jump, but you would be... What if? Dead. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. Why is this the most talented way? person I've ever known? More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple of cute guys there, but they probably think I'm a total nerd. 
Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Why Once is there so much yourself, water noises? The They're not moving. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's do it. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Okay, I'm gonna fuck this up. I, uh, I'm so bad at this part. I literally don't know how to do it. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Oh God. <laughs> Wait, I did it? Oh no. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I thought I did it. I was so proud of myself then. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I can still I hear power. pool or noises. Just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Hey! Fuck. Hey! 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 <sighs> oh my god. We are so invisible. Let's bail. Jesus Christ. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash with a Blackwell security officer I just busted live so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car. Get in. Yeah, because no one knows whose truck this is, right? <laughs> Later, fuckers. Max, you rock. We are so fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, we so are. Tiny, he knows. Always remember this moment. Photobomb! 
photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Dress now. Or supplies are endless in the evening by the morning bells. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. Everything is lonely. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. I thought Chloe might put up a pic. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. I don't think I'll be washing today. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size but not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. Can you at least give it a try? You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. <sighs> Gee, I wonder. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. <sighs> She didn't think I would. What's so easy in the evening by the morning such a turn? Ready for the mosh pit shaka bra. Couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit shaka bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? <clears throat> I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise I'm gonna not run to away die. from that copyrighted it's not music. Not find out, okay? <sighs> oh my god, that smells so Rip. amazing. It's like when we were kids here. <gasps> Bird. Hello? No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room.
Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from a stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Bird. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. Ew! Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Well, that's the same note that was in the dorms for some reason. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified. Oh, that's where the you can race it. Last night around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call soon. Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Oh, there they are. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Could I just teleport? Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left, 
I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. Keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Joyce might as well have wrote what that might be a useful password. 11, 27, 08. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? 
Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Ugh. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect no. anybody. Uh, you were mind. smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these no, files at all? Back. I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Ugh, whatever. It's fine. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Can we leave? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. I'd love to do a whole big rig of photo series. Hey, how's it going? Peachy, interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Ring my Wish I could checks. drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave. Excuse me. <laughs> what if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's her face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? 
Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, <laughs> interview over. Oh, such a bitch. Such a grumpy little man. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's good riddance but you can take pictures of my truck anytime take care So ominous. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know <laughs> they're Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Mm. <coughs> There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast oh first. Oh my god. Oh my god, I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was a, a glitch. Oh my god, I'm sweating. I don't want to do it again. I um I actually can't remember how to get Oh hi weird lady still here Rachel uh, whatever the fuck uh oh look Max Amber is that your punk rock girl outfit that was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday 
Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. He'll hook your ass up. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Do you want the after-school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks with too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. And I'll back off. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Holy shit, what do you want now? There she is. Thanks, Officer Brick. I'm glad you... Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town again. ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the <laughs> Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan <laughs> included. Keep this quiet, Max. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. <laughs> Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I don't know why it's so scary. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <clears throat> I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! He brought. 
Now back to Chloe. God, that was such a struggle. Max. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat, Roy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. God, I Frank has issues, so but he's not bad creepy. In there. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're in... The schedule, we need clues about Rachel. I know. Daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. No more secrets. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open any portal. Oh man, I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this big. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I hmm. Trouble in paradise. Frank's stash. It's so boring, Max. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. 
Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Yeah. Grow up! God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? So many loading screens. <gasps> William! Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, she looks. Well, I bit. might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. 
Do you remember how many eggs? Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Oh, William, you're Mom always look young. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Joyce loves William so much. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. I know they never took that big vacation. Hello? Hey, honey. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whale. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop to William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't what a have mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. I'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. That's a cool snow dough. Aha! You can't. Aha! You can't. Careful, Max. William can totally see you. Right, like you're the real cook here? Score! I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Hello? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <sighs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Cold every day. 
Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No, I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. God, this game just gets me every time. Also, I feel like the audio is out of sync on like the ending scenes. I don't know why. Sons of tomorrow 